Give me your child for the first seven years and I will show you the man. Have you ever heard that saying? <laughs> it actually means some crazy stuff. Let's go. All right, you beautiful humans, back out here in this beautiful nature, getting our pump on, breathing in that beautiful healing air, here on a mission to raise the vibration of the nation to release us from thousands of years of slavery. Are you with me? Give me the boy for the first seven years and I will show you the man. What does this mean? It means that the first seven to 10 years of a boy or girl's life are the most formidable years of that person's life. The habits, the torture, the scars, the good habits, the good traits that are instilled in them in those first seven years will stay with them for the rest of their life. This is why in tyrannistic families and organizations, they condition the children at an early age. Obviously, they groom them. Literally, the maniac organizations on this planet, when a child is born, they will subject the child to horrendous things at a very young age to create a psychopath and a megalomaniac. Someone who thinks that they actually have the right to manipulate other people and that they are actually better than other people. This is disgusting. It is literally happening right now. The child is born. They will literally have people murdered right in front of the child at a young age to make them disregard how precious human life is. They beat into them and they brand into them certain ways to make them megalomaniacs and psychopaths. And these are the politicians you love so well, <laughs> most of them at least the Klaus Schwabs of the world, thinking they are so better than all of, all of the rest of humanity. Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm getting at is, given the fact that a child is so impressionable those first seven years, it is up to you, parents, even if you were branded in bad, toxic ways. It is up to you to break the chain and to teach your child good, positive, peaceful, world-changing habits that will stick with them for life. Me, I grew up in absolute chaos my entire adolescent life. That's another story I'll share with y'all at a later date. And I don't want to go to the woe is me thing, but I was literally raised in absolute violent chaos. And magically, along the way, I, w I think I was always destined to awaken from tyranny and from toxic ways. Don't get me wrong, I ain't perfect. I still have my things that I struggle with but I have formulated and designed a routine for daily greatness, which is the seven. So it is extremely important if you were raised in chaos, in abuse, to please, for the love of God and humanity, try to be aware of it and not pass it down to your children. Because those first seven years, if you are beating the child down constantly, it is going to have self-esteem issues for the rest of its life. If you teach the child to eat pancakes and sugary cereal for breakfast and pizza and mac and cheese and chocolate bars and pasta, guess what? Those first seven years, its body and its psyche is gonna have that ingrained in it 
for the rest of its life, it is gonna be addicted to these types of foods that only lead to death and bad moods. I'm telling you. So parents, please hear this video, pass on the knowledge that the first seven years of your child's life are the most formidable. What that child experiences on a consistent basis in those first seven years will stay with him or her for the rest of him or her's life. It's up to you to make or break the child. It took me 35 years to finally raise up at least somewhat out of the toxic whirlwind devastation storm that I was living in. Self-loathing, absolute insecurity, okay? I know it's tough, but first you need to simply recognize if there is a problem. Knowing is half the battle, okay? And then once you know, you need to do something daily to change the toxic things you're doing to your child. This is one of the hardest things. I know it's so easy to take out your crap on your child. I don't know why, but it's true. It's sad, but true. So just be aware that your child, moment it's born, is hearing and soaking in every argument. It is hearing and seeing and soaking in every violent outburst. It is hearing and soaking in all the toxic gossip while you're on the phone to your friend, okay? It is hearing and soaking in the nightly news if you listen to that all the time. If you're into the nightly news, you'll lose, straight up. It is a sponge. Your child is a sponge and those first seven years are going to brand its cellular memory for the rest of its life. So it is literally up to you, the parent, to create the child you choose. And hopefully there's enough beautiful humans waking up that we choose to breed positive, peaceful, productive, confident humans. If that's what you wanna do, then you need to make the choice. You need to make the cognitive decision to raise your children better, especially the first seven years. Now, hey, I ain't perfect. I have a child in the first seven years. There are definitely things that I screwed up on. And now that I'm a grandpa, I feel like I have a chance to help my daughter raise her daughter better and not, not make some of the mistakes I did. The first seven years, the most important. You make or break your children. I think we should make them. Let's get it.